everybody, this is Lana Michelson from LanaMichelson.com or OpsChill.com and today I want to take this one step forward, this whole idea about how you deal with criticism. The more I work with married couples, the more I see that there is a lot more criticism going on between the couple than there is sharing of what you actually love about the other person. Now, I understand that when you're in a day-to-day -day life and this thing bothers you and that things bother you and that things bother you, it's very easy to get caught up in the criticism. And for some reason, there's a lot more juice in the criticism than there is in the good things. That's why you have so many groups of, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous and Hi There Nigel and all sorts of other anonymous groups where you're support groups where you're supporting each other for things which deal with misery. But on the other hand, if instead of focusing on all that misery, focusing on all the bad things about your partner, focusing on all the things you dislike about your partner, you would start focusing on the things that you do like about your partner, then I think the relationship might improve almost instantaneously. Now, literally, I've asked couples who I've been working with after they've been telling me about how this one does this, this, and this, and that one does that, that, and that, and they can't say when that one does that, and they can't say when that one does that, and I'm like, well, are there any things that you like about your partner? He says, oh yeah, there's tons of things I like about my partner. And I say, well, when was the last time you told him about those things you like about my partner? He says, well, those aren't the things that bother me. I have to tell them what bothers me, don't I? And I'm here to tell you that no. Tell them about the things that you like. Often when you're learning about um, raising children, then you under they tell you that for every negative remark you make to a child, you have to have something like 10 positive ones to cover up the negative ones. Some people say more than 10, some people, you know, go really, really high, but let's say 10 positive things for every negative thing, right? My deal is that when you're lurking with a partner, it should be the same exact thing. Tell the partner something negative that bothers you, you should be telling them 10 positive things that you love about them. Now, the way that it goes is, is when you first fall in love, and you have all that infatuation and everything, so you don't really see all those negative things. You're, something inside your chemical body is basically making you blind to those things and you're only seeing the things that you love. Otherwise, you'd probably never get married. But as that infatuation wears off and all those chemicals wear off, then day-to-day -day things, you start seeing all things you dislike about them as well. Now, what tends to go along with that is you also have less physical contact very often. Now, the physical contact is actually really, really important. Physical contact, you know, intense hugging, things like that, give you doses of oxytocin. Oxytocin is the chemical of devotion, potion of devotion, as some people like to say. So, if, number one, you tried only saying negative things while you're hugging, I think it'd be a lot harder for you because you'd be in a much better place. And if every time you said something negative, you also added in at least 10 positive things, I think you'd also be in a much better place. Now, on the other side, if you're the one receiving the criticism, this goes back to what I was saying yesterday. Instead of getting on the defensive and creating a space where you like close down, why don't you see how much it actually bothers you, see what's actually bothering you about it, and maybe clean it up because maybe they're actually helping you because if it's bothering you, it means there's something inside of you that's a trigger. And that trigger is what's actually triggering you and creating that feeling of discomfort. Once you clean up that trigger, you'll no longer feel that discomfort anymore. You'll feel good and it won't even bother you when the person says it. You'll say, oh, okay, thanks. Appreciate that comment and move on. That's it. It won't bother you anymore. So taking from what I said yesterday and today about relationships, hi there, Nareet. What you should probably do is, number one, once again, for every negative thing, say 10 positive things about your partner that you really love. Number two, if you're the one receiving it, instead of getting all defensive about it, think about what actually is bothering you, what inside of you, and just release that trigger so that it no longer bothers you afterwards. And watch how your relationship tends to grow better and better and stronger and stronger as soon you'll be rekindling that passion that you had when you first got married when you had that both infatuation and the deep love because both of them are cool it's fun to have the infatuation and it's fun to have the deep love it's fun to have someone who just thinks about you all the time and only wants to do good for you if you haven't given me a like give me a like down below whether you're watching me on Facebook Live or whether you're watching me on YouTube and if you're on YouTube also press the subscribe button on the other side hi there Markin and don't forget to also press the bell notifications so that you'll always notify when there's another video coming out. 
you have any questions, any remarks, I'm happy to answer them, happy to talk about them. And just for all of you, my friends out there who are going to be fasting tonight and tomorrow, because it's the fast of Tisha B'Av, the day that um, the temple was destroyed, both temples, the first temple and the second temple, I pray that with this Tisha B'Av, the temple will be rebuilt and the Messiah will come and everything will be good. Anyway, have a great morning, have a great day, have a great night, wherever you are in this great world. Remember that everything is always going my way, your way, everybody's way. And have a great day from Ilana Michelson, optionchill.com.